If you're new to Mahjong, try Hong Kong style. This is the easiest Asian version to play. It's very much like Remy. You just need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. If you're a beginner or an intermediate player and you just want to improve your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell so you don't miss anything. Also, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist if you want to learn more. Let's do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. I have all my tiles out and they have been mixed. We're going to do four random pulls. We'll do one for East Round, then we'll do one for South, one for West, and one for North. I'm going to roll the dice just to randomize which seat we're in. So let's say we're in seat four. I'll just put up a four to remind us which seat we're in. So it's east round seat four. Also, we're gonna say that we have a three fawn minimum. Three fawn minimum. When you play at Mahjong time, sometimes there are tables with no minimum and people play chicken hands, zero point hands. Try to play at a table with eight points, and that's a three fawn hand. So we're going to try to do random pulls with a three fawn minimum. That way we'll get used to playing at an eight point table. So as player four, we're going to take 13 random tiles. And this will just mimic the drawn hand. So let's see what we can do here. We need three fawn somewhere. So let's put these in their suits and in order and see what we have. Three fawn. We have no flowers. No flowers is one fawn. We have a pung and a pear. All pung is three fawn. We could try for all pung. If we're in south or north seat and it's east round, these aren't going to help. I think we would have to push for all pung and try to pair up and pung. So I would just hold on to this for sure. You don't need to Kong online anyway. If you play in a live game and there's a some kind of automatic payout for Kongs, you might consider doing a Kong. So I think we'd have to force all Pung or play defense. If you would do something different here, let me know. If you're wondering why not play all Chow, First of all, there's only two potential chows. Well, we could break this up and make a chow out of it. This could be the pair. So chow, 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 pair. We would need one more chow in here. There we go. But an all chow hand is one fawn. We have no flowers, that's a fawn. So right now there's only two fawn. I think I would go ahead and just start regardless by discarding these. Okay, let's do another one. So south round, I rolled a 12. So that would be seat four. We're gonna say we're in seat four. South round, seat four, three fawn. Six discards, all bands. Potential chow, potential pung, potential pung. There's also a chow in here and a potential chow here instead if you want. 
Right now this would be no flowers, which is one fawn. If we were to go for all chow, that would be another fawn, but that's only two fawn. We need three fawn. I would start by throwing the nine dot, followed by these dots, and try to draw in bams and honors. Force either a half flush or full flush with bams. That's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write it in the comment section. We're now on West Round. Let's say we're in seat eight, which is north again. No flowers again. Okay, no flowers is one fawn. The challenge is we keep getting mixed suits. All right, so rough because we have nearly an equal number of the suited tiles. This would be defense. Here's a chow pair, isolated, chow, isolated. I think I would just play defense on this one <laughs> and hope for a better start with the next round. If you would do something different, let me know. Let's hope for some flowers next time. Boy, those can really bring in some score. North round, seat six. Seat six is south. North round, south seat. This will be a decent start. Half flesh. No question about it. With this particular random pull, I would try to pair these up and pung them. A pung of dragons is a fawn all by itself. Then we could focus on cracks. Cracks with honors is three fawn. We could chow the seven nine, maybe even pung the seven crack or leave it as a pair. Pung the four crack, chow the one, the two three with either a one or a four. So we would have one, two, three, four blocks with a potential pair or pung with the dragons. That's how I would play this and I would discard these first. So one out of four had a decent scoring hand. Oh my goodness, that's terrible. But it is a good way to kind of get used to scoring. Get the player reference out in front of you and pull out your tiles and try random pulls and try to find score on that player reference card based on the tiles that you get. Let me know what you think about it. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and then click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to maybe learn a new style or learn a new strategy, pick up on an inside of the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.